10 October 19th or October 10th, 2019 for those less inclined. Uh, this is the second video of the day. This is the second breakdown. This one is called GRSE Atlanta, 17 May 12th. Altercation with uh, AKA J, Fred Smith, Anthony Smith, David Clay, Carlos Glenn, Stacy Nika shows up, AKA Rock Trades in it. Carlos Glenn's girlfriend is in it and her sister. Um, and one of the reasons why I feel like I need to break this down because some of my audience can't really understand what people are saying. And so, you know, when you can't understand what people are saying, uh, you know, I don't even know if you if the video makes any sense to you. So I, I took down a few notes um, on the video because because we're really talking about specific language. And, and uh, uh, you know, I'll just give you the general gist, not word for word. That's too much. So, you know, uh, the video starts. I'm, I'm exiting the door. I'm, I'm saying, excuse me, sir, I need you to clear the doorway. I'm asking AKA J to clear the doorway. Um, meanwhile, on the side, what you hear is Fred talking about someone who wrote a disrespectful rap about him while they, while they were in jail. Not any individual there, but someone who wrote a disrespectful uh, rap about... Um, him while he was in jail, like throwing his baby in the fire and some other kind of craziness. So, anyway, let me look at my notes here. And I don't know what David Clay said. Hold on, is that the beginning? So, so you know, when Fred was complaining about that rap, David Clay said something to him. I, I can't really hear it. I can't make it out. But Fred didn't seem to like it. And then, you know, Fred claims that he, he made it possible for like, for like him and other people to come down here, to even come to downtown Atlanta. That's what he says. I made it possible for y'all to even be able to come down here. And David Clay kind of disagrees. And Fred starts to peacock. He starts to show out, you know tells David Clay that he can, uh, you know, that he can thrash him. So, you know, he's like issuing a challenge. Fred is posturing to maintain his position in this kind of loose hierarchy. Like, I'm top dog. I made it possible for you to come down here. Right? So he's posturing. He's telling them this. Like, you can't even challenge me. Don't even challenge me. Right? You know, that's basically, that's basically what he's saying. Uh... Uh, Fred is posturing to maintain his position in his loose hierarchy. Uh, for someone to write a disrespectful rap about him, you know, it, it's really about a matter of respect. You disrespected me. You were being disrespectful. This guy was being disrespectful. And, you know, you cannot be disrespected in the street that makes you look weak. You know, you, 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 you almost have to answer that challenge. Right. This is this is Fred's mindset at the time. Since then, he's grown a little bit. Uh, you know, I watched one one of his Instagram videos where he said, like, dude, you don't even make enough money for me to even be bothered with you. You know, and you don't really know. You know, I can't even be bothered. You know, get get your loot up and then maybe you come talk to me. And, you know, that situation, you know, I, I resolved that. But, you know, ain't no bitches in here. You know, he made an Instagram basically saying that. Um, video about, you know, I don't know, you go on his Instagram page and, and, and you listen to that. Um, so, so basically this situation turned into a matter of respect. You know, enter his brother, Anthony. I don't know what Anthony was doing. Maybe he was listening to it. I don't know, but he, he entered into the, to the fray, I guess, coming to support his brother. Why Anthony put his hands on David Clay, I have no clue. I have no idea. Maybe he's trying to exert some form of dominance. <laughs> right? And he picked him up. I mean, he, 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 you know, you can see the challenges being issued. You put your hands on him, then, then you, 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 you push him, and then, 
and then you you kind of pick him up and move him back. You know, David Clay's not really taking none of this serious, but when he picks him up and pushes him back, you know, you can see David Clay's kind of annoyed. So, you know, he just pushes him off because, you know, he's annoyed. Like, you know, like, what the hell are you doing? What the fuck's wrong with you, right? Slow your roll. Meanwhile, by the way, I, you know, I didn't mention this, but even when the altercation first uh, uh, jumped off, David Clay, I think, I mean, not David Clay, Carlos Glenn's got on a white shirt. He's the one with the with the box fade. He tries to mediate that right away. Like, listen, yo, y'all kill this. Calm this down. None of this necessary. And he tries to do that. Every time you see uh, Carlos Glenn steps up, he's actually trying to mediate the situation to calm it down or de-escalate. Yeah, we'll use that word. De-escalate the situation. Try to calm it down. Um, so David Clay's not really taking it serious. However, he does get annoyed. He puts it back. Uh, okay. So there's one important thing that you have to understand. That all these people are very familiar with each other. David Clay, Carlos Glenn, Anthony Smith, Fred Smith. They all know each other. And they, they've known each other for a while. So this this ain't some, you know, these people ain't random. And then, you know, but after after David Clay pushes him off, you know, Anthony starts peacocking, you know, on God. You know, he's, he's trying to exhibit some strength. Like I ain't no one to play with. You know, you know why he doing all that? I, you know, I got no clue, man. Right? Um... So we're going to move a little bit further down. You know, Carlos Glenn is still trying to mediate the situation. David Clay is clearly agitated by the preceding events. And, you know, he challenges Fred. He says something to Fred. Like I said, my, he, he says it so low that my camera can't pick it up. Uh, but, you know, Fred asks, Fred, like, what you talking about? What you mean by that? So Fred's asking for some clarification, and uh, uh, David Clay clarifies, and, uh, uh, you know, after he clarifies, he's preparing for a fight. He's taking his glasses off, he's taking his vest off, you know, he, he ready to get down. Well, Fred takes his shirt off, he, you know, he's ready to get down, you know, okay, now I see the situation's about to go left, right, you know, so, you know, I pull my taser, I'm trying to, you know, Fred walk away, you know, Anthony jumps in, you know, and tries to get between them. So I don't, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, at this point in time, I'm, I'm looking back at this now so I can say, but at the time, I didn't really know what the hell was going on. Like, what, what is this jumping off over? And then y'all need to calm it down because that window is nothing but plexiglass and I don't need nobody going through it. Right? So in any event, nobody likes the fact that I pulled out my taser. And then Rock Trey uh, uh, proceeds to try to tell me what I can and what I cannot do with the taser. Uh, clearly, I can come to the defense of another. I can. When I come to the defense of another, eh. I could come to to defense of another initially. Eh, maybe down the line, you know. However much liability I want to take on. Whatever I'm able to... Uh, Adequately, adequately and legally justify is for why I did what I did and, and, and still walk away from it. Uh, you know, I, you know, Mama Smith came outside, you know, and I, you know, where she come from? And don't nobody know what's really going on. Not really, except David Clay, Carlos Glenn, and, uh, 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 Maybe Fred Smith. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know if Rock Trey knows what's going on, but you know, it, it really just started over nothing. I mean, it's just not, you know, Fred felt that he was disrespected by someone that wasn't there. And maybe David Clay was supposed to stick up for him, but uh, uh, or he said maybe he stabbed him up or some shit. I don't know. Uh, cause Fred said, uh, 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 well, I would have stabbed him up. But I don't fuck with you like that. Now, I don't know if David Clay said that to Fred. Like, I would have stabbed him up, but 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 I, I don't fuck with you like that. And Fred's like, well, y'all make up your minds. Either you fuck with me or you don't. Right? So, there's all those things going on. Now, 
you know, they decide to take it down the street. And, you know, me, usually I would follow such things to make sure that nothing jumped off. But you know what? I'm already tired of this shit. You know, I don't care. Stacy Neek is talking about get those babies out of here. And, you know, the woman with the with the uh, with the with the baby and the baby uh, stroller. Well, that's Carlos Glenn's girlfriend. Her sister's there, you know. And I think, you know, instead of dealing with the taser, they just they decided to take it down the street and around the corner, which is all right with me. I didn't care. It, I was fine with it because I didn't want to deal with it no more myself. Um, and really, that's what's happening. So. It was a matter of respect. Fred felt disrespected. David Clay kind of felt disrespected, probably. Uh, you know, when Anthony put his hands on him, you know, Fred wants to maintain his 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 hierarchical his position in the hierarchy, and, and you know, letting people know, like, listen, the things that I've done and who I am and what what goes on with me allowed you to even come down here, and uh, uh, you know, y'all, no one disrespects me. I will not be disrespected. And then you're supposed to do something about it anyway. I mean, this 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 part here is supposition on my behalf, right? But Fred wasn't having it. Uh, uh, David Clay issues a challenge. Uh, you know, Fred's top dog, you know, he can't take, you know, he can't turn down that challenge. You step to him, he got to step to you. We got to do this. Uh, you know, and that's the way that goes. And... That's the altercation. The altercation was really over a rap that someone said about Fred that was very disrespectful. Um, and and that, that's really it. And there, that's the breakdown. Uh, that's the video log. That's the second one for 10 October 19. Uh, the link to that video will be in the description. And it's all good, baby. We did our thing. All right. See you later.